This episode was previously recorded in front of an imaginary studio audience. Time for fun, laugh, Friday! <laughs> All right, how you knife nice chatters out there? Your old pal Skip the Show coming back at you again from the Volcano Club. Another fun night nice Friday. And have I ever got a great one for you today? This is probably the funnest knife I'm going to show you in years. Well, nothing else. The funnest knife I'm going to show you in about six months. And I I really like this. This knife is just a fun knife. Now, this is not the correct sheath for it. The person who sold the knife to me, uh, he had lost the sheath. But fortunately, I had a sheath here that fits it. And, uh, well... Without further ado, let's look at one heck of a fun knife. And I tell you, this knife is really rocking it. This is a really fun knife. You ready? This is by United Cutlery. This is the Horus Egyptian Falcon Knife. Yeah, that's right, boys and girls. This is the Falcon. Now, I don't know if this was designed by Kit Ray or Gil Hibben. I think one of them two did it. This is just a fun looking knife. I mean, this is just crazy. Look at that blade. Look at that handle. Look at that handle. The falcon handle. So not an eagle head. That's a falcon head on there. Look at that. Look at that falcon head on there. That is just amazing. This is like all copper tone and everything. And then when you get up over here for the guard, the guard is just fantastic. Look at the claw on that guard. That is just really cool, the way it swoops around and everything. That is just one amazing claw for a guard. Oh man, and the balance on this thing. Well, it's definitely uh, balanced right there, right there, right around there. It's, it's heavy. You got, you got the balance is a little bit into the handle. And you got that fantastic blade there. Look at that blade. I mean, this is just, it's got so many cool curves in there and everything. And you know what's really cool? See this curve here? This curve, I think this is going to allow this knife to be a perfect brewski popper. You know what I mean? This is going to be a great one for popping a beer open. Because you can just get that cap in there, get it in the right angle, and just pop open a beer with this. Oh yeah, this is just amazing. I really like this knife. This is this is one of the uh, this is one of the most exciting knives I have come across in a long time. I saw this and I was like, oh man, I gotta have it. And man, I got it for a steal of a price because the guy didn't have the sheath for it. So it's like I think I got a sheath that can fit it. Uh, what's that? Yeah, I know, I know. I knew someone was gonna ask that. I just knew it. You bet it doesn't have a full tank. Yeah, that's what you're thinking. That knife, it probably doesn't have a full tang. It's just probably got some kind of push tang going in there, and that blade is just stuck in there, and you just got cheap stainless steel on there. That's what you're thinking, right? Not a full tang, cheap stainless steel blade. You're not going to waste your money on anything like that, right? Yeah, that's what you're thinking. I know it. I knew it. Someone had to just had, I knew it. I bet you that was the first comment on this. Is, no. Nah. Why are you wasting your money on something like that? Well, it's a Harvey wall banger, dude. <laughs> You're worried about it not having a full tank. Dude, it doesn't even have a full blade on it. Look at that. Does that blade look full? And you're worried about a full tank and all oh, the stainless steel. Why would I want to waste money on like M390 or something like that for a knife like this when I'm going to just hang it on the wall? I mean, it, it's it's sharp enough, sharp enough. And someone had been using it. I had to go and reprofile the blade and get all the nicks out of it because somebody had been using it for chopping something. So it must have some kind of strength to it. But I, I know you're thinking, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're thinking, I would never buy a knife like that. I need something with like M390 or the latest super steel in it. And it's got to be full tang. And you're not going to go with any kind of crappy 
copper tone handle or anything like that. Because you need a knife that's going to be able to baton through a, a dang engine block or something like that. And you need a knife that's going to survive the zombie apocalypse and all this other crap. And, you know, I, I tell you, I tell you right now. Since 1962, I've been told I need to get ready for some kind of apocalyptic event and so that I'll be able to survive. You know, build a bomb shelter, do this, do that. I need a knife that's going to be able to take on the world and all this other crap. You know, all I need is a knife that's going to cut my steak tonight. Really, that's what I want to survive. I want to survive dinner tonight. And you're worrying about some post-apocalyptic zombie attack and all this other crap, that ain't even going to happen. It ain't going to happen. And I don't need a knife that's going to survive it. And I tell you what, if I get attacked by zombies, this knife is going to be able to do just as good a job on zombies as your knife is. You know why? Because there's no such thing as zombies, okay? Get over it already. We don't all need an M390 blade. And we're not all cutting through engine blocks with our knives. I don't, I, I don't, I'm... <sighs> hey, what, what's going on over here, Skip? Or is everything all right? I mean, uh... Ah, it's fine. No, everything's fine, man. Everything's fine. Just talking about the Horace Falcon knife, that's all. You're not hearing the voices again, are you? Voices? In my head? No, I man, no. Not like that, not like that. Maybe it's time for you to take a little break, you know. You've been stressed a lot with the club and everything lately. Yeah, well, you know, maybe maybe, maybe I'll go uh, take a nap after I'm done here, you know. Yeah, maybe I need to take some. We'll check back later on you, all right, Skip? I don't know what came over me. Anyway, it's your knife. Go have fun with it. But don't tell somebody else how... To have fun with their knife. And I, I, I apologize. If, if you really enjoy cutting through engine blocks with your knife, go for it. Go have some fun with it. Me, sometimes I just like a nice pretty knife that I can hang on the wall. Skip out. your old pal Skip the Show. Another fun knife Friday in the books. Remember, if your knife's not fun, you're doing it wrong. Skip out. If your knife's not fun, you're doing it wrong and skip out are registered trademarks of Skip the Show Enterprises. This has been a Cat Production presentation. All rights reserved.